Hey there, in this video I'm going to show you how to take apart and replace the screen on your Apple iPhone 16. Let's go. Welcome back to the video. My name is Sergio and in this channel I make life saving tech videos. So if you're new here, go ahead and subscribe and hit the bell while you're down there. Alright, with that out of the way, let's get right into it. So we're going to be taking apart this iPhone 16 in this video. I'm going to be removing the screen and showing you the right way to do it so that you can replace your screen in the event that it's cracked or it's not lighting up anymore so that you can replace your screen with a new one and continue using your iPhone 16 normally again. Alright, let's begin. So for a screen replacement, first thing you want to do is you want to power off your phone. Okay, so let's go ahead and power it off. You can power it off by pressing and holding volume up and the power lock button. And when the slide menu appears, just slide to power off. Okay, so we're going to be using this set of tools in order to take apart and replace the screen on this iPhone 16. So they're going to be linked down below in case you want to get these same exact tools that I use. So first thing we're going to need is the Pentelope screwdriver. Okay, we're going to use this to remove the two screws at the bottom of the iPhone 16. And keep your screws organized so when it's time to put the iPhone back together, you will remember where each of the screws go. So after you have the two screws removed, we're going to have to heat up the screen in order to remove it because it is held down with a lot of ad adhesive and uh, heating up the screen will soften that adhesive and it will be a lot easier to remove the screen gently. You can do this with either a hairdryer or a heat gun or a hot plate. I actually have a hot plate and that's what I'm going to be using. We're going to turn it on and we're going to set it to 100 degrees Celsius. Okay, we're going to leave it on there for a few minutes. I'm just going to place it on there like this. And uh, we're going to leave it on there probably three to five minutes. Uh, uh, I'm going to touch the back and when I feel that it's hot, uh, that's when I'm going to just remove it from the hot plate. All right, so it's been about th three to four minutes. So we're going to be using these gloves, okay, since the phone is going to be super hot. Okay, so we're going to be using the suction cup. We're going to be placing it towards the bottom of the phone where the two uh, pentalope screws were. And here we're going to pull up on the screen, okay, to see if we can get it to nudge up just a little bit. And then after we do that, we're going to be using these prying tools to get under the screen. If you feel the phone starting to get cold again, just go ahead and heat it up one more time. So as you can see, now it's starting to lift up. I heat it up a little bit more and now the adhesive is loosening up. So once we see that it lifts up a little bit like that, we can go ahead and place the prying tool in there like that. Okay, perfect. Uh, we're going to be using this other prying tool, this card, to go around uh, the other side. So we're going to place this prying tool up here. We're going to go around this side the other side with the card. If the phone turns on, which it probably will, you may touch the power button by mistake, just go ahead and power it back off. Okay, and then now once you have both of these in, uh, we're just gonna just gently, and carefully go down uh, both sides. Okay, if you need to use the suction cup for help, uh, you can pull on it. Okay, don't stick uh, the prying tools in too much because there are cables in here and you don't want to damage those cables. Okay, we're gonna go down this entire side. Okay, so we're just going to continue working down both sides. It may be a little bit hard to release some of these clips, but uh, just push down gently and carefully so that uh, the prying tool doesn't go in too much. Okay, then we're going to go this, down this side as well. So once you've gone down uh, both sides with the prying tool, uh, the, the only adhesive left will be down here. Okay, so we're going to do the top portion now. Keep in mind that the cables connecting the screen to the motherboard are on the left hand side here of the screen. Okay, so we're going to set the phone on the side like this since the cables are on this side up here and we're going to pull up on the screen this way. Okay, so if there's some adhesive down here left over, uh, let's go ahead and remove it first. And once the final clip uh, is released here on this corner, then we can now lift up on the screen this way like this. And as you can see, here we have the two cables that are connected to the motherboard. Okay, so now with the phone open, we're going to be using a tri-tip screwdriver. And uh, we're going to be using this to remove the two tri-tip screws holding down these brackets. Okay, once removed, we can go ahead and uh, pull up on the bracket here. And uh, let's make sure that we place it with the right screws. And once the brackets are removed, we can use the plastic prying tool to disconnect the flex cable. And here we go. Uh, now we have the screen assembly out. All right, so for the next step, uh, the only part that we're going to have to remove from this screen to place on the brand new screen is going to be this flex cable right here. And it's held down with one Phillips head screw. So let's go ahead and remove that. 
and uh, go ahead and remove the bracket that was holding it in place. And now very carefully, we are gonna have to remove this part here in order to place it on the new screen. So slowly pull up on it, there you go. Okay, so we're gonna get under the cable here. Okay, be very careful that you don't cut the cable, that you don't rip it. Once you have a portion of it removed, you can go ahead and uh, just peel it out with your fingers. And there you have it. All right, so now we're ready to install the new screen. So the screen that you order should be an original screen like this one right here. I'm gonna have this screen for your Apple iPhone 16 linked down below. And uh, it's gonna come just like this, okay? It's gonna have all the little brackets up here and the flex cable to connect the screen. So all we're gonna do now is we're gonna first place the sensor up here. We're gonna position it and place it back in the bracket right there. Okay, so just position it there and then with your finger press down on it to put it in place. And then we're gonna go ahead and press down here on the sticker to glue it back onto the frame of the screen. Let's go ahead and place the little bracket holding the sensor in place. All right, so once this little bracket is in place, we're gonna go ahead and uh, put the screw back on there. And then all we have to do is uh, connect the flex cables back onto the motherboard of the iPhone 16 here. So we're gonna go ahead and position the cable first and then just press down on it. And uh, you should hear a click if you positioned it properly. Okay, let's go ahead and do this one now. Okay, you can also uh, make sure uh, with the prying tool. They both look like they're both properly connected. So now we're ready to place the brackets back on. So let's do this one first. And let's go ahead and do the second bracket. Position the bracket uh, first and then place the screw. Uh, once both of the brackets and screws are back in, we can go ahead and place the screen back on. So remember, there is gonna be adhesive. Uh, the adhesive that came on the frame, it's still on here, so I'm just gonna reuse it. However, uh, your new screen will come with new adhesive as well. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and close the screen now. Okay, uh, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna place the top in first. So we're gonna lift up on the bottom like that and place the top in first, push it in. And then we're gonna go ahead and push on all of the sides of the screen all the way to the top until you hear all of the brackets click back into place. Okay, so there you go. The screen is fully in now. As we can see, the screen is perfectly back on. And let's go ahead and place the two pentalope screws down at the bottom. Okay, so that is one screw, and let's put in the other one. And power on your iPhone to make sure uh, everything is working properly. All right, so a screen looks so good so far. Let's go ahead and enter the passcode. Let's test the screen out. All right, so it looks like the screen is working perfectly as should. So that is how you take apart and replace the screen on your Apple iPhone 16 and 16 Plus. Go ahead and destroy that like button if this video helped you out. Comment down below and let me know. And if you want an epic custom wooden phone case for your phone like these, check out the links down below in the description. That's all for this video. I'll catch you guys in the next one. As always, peace.